Number one, in marine organisms, light-emitting tissues are essential for functions such as signaling and predation. Appearing roughly 200 million years ago during the late Triassic, the earliest bioluminescent species possessed relatively basic luminous arrangements. But starting around 150 million years ago, intricate multichromatic displays arose repeatedly across distinct clades despite heightened energetic expenditures. So it seems like they started with bioluminescence at like a general level, but it advanced into something much more um, requiring, demanding, and uh, despite these costs, it probably evolved for a reason, right? Because these displays are associated with increased resilience against ecological pressures, one explanation proposes that elevated predator densities in the ancient ocean environments might have facilitated or caused this evolution of this trait. So I think that makes total sense. Um, a, they started out here, they got more advanced, it cost more energy, but it was worth it because of the predators, right? Uh, which choice best states the main purpose of this text? And I think we've done that so far. In A, our main idea was comparing the different roles fulfilled by two types of display patterns. Well, I don't think that was the case. They do mention two things, but as opposed to like, we started here and it evolved into two different traits that they're then comparing, you know, what does what, that wasn't what happened. It was, we started with basic bioluminescence and it evolved into a more advanced form of that bioluminescence. For A to be correct, it would have been 200 million years ago, we had the basic. 150 million years ago, this branched into advanced one and advanced two, which wasn't the case. We only had one advanced form of bioluminescence, so we can get rid of A here. In B, our main idea was to present an overview of the evolutionary history of a particular adaptation, singular, found in some bioluminescent marine organism displays and determine a potential catalyst of this adaptation. So it seems like there's two main criteria that have to be right here. So first, do we see this like general history of bioluminescence? We do. It started as basic, but it became more advanced. And then do they go on to try to determine a potential catalyst as like reason for this advancement? They also do. The potential uh, advancement was these multichromatic displays, which they thought was weird because it would be, it would cost higher energy. But the catalyst for maybe costing more energy was the elevated predator densities making it kind of worth it for this advancement. So I think B is 100% correct. <laughs>